سخنرانی خانم مریم رجبی روز جهانی زن امسال برای زن ایرانی حامل یک تعهد است می توان و باید از دل بیماری و سرکوب و فقر آزادی و برابری را به پیروزی رساند ما می خواهیم یک جمهوری مبتنی بر دموکراسی و حقوق بشر و برابری و جدای دین از دولت برپا کنیم که لازمه آن مشارکت فعال و برابر زنان در رهبری سیاسی جامعه است مدافعان برابری و حقوق زنان را به حمایت از زنان به پاخاسته ایرانی و قیام مردم ایران برای آزادی فرا می خانم. Right, Honorable Baroness Verma, distinguished members of the British Parliament, women's rights advocates, dear friends and sisters. On behalf of the Iranian people and resistance, I extend my warmest congratulations on International Women's Day and I salute all women who have fought and sacrificed for the cause of equality. I pay tribute to these struggles, pioneers, great women such as Bertie Albrecht, Clara Zatki, and Olaf Dogush. Women's struggle and sacrifice have been and are the foundations of progress and the guarantee for democracy in our world. Therefore, a world without injustice, oppression, fundamentalism, and poverty depends on women's struggle. This year, International Women's Day coincides with the coronavirus pandemic. Within Iran, the people are extremely dissatisfied. The uprising on the 22nd of February by the people of Sistan and Baluchistan reflects Iranian society's increasing confrontation with the ruling regime. The people of Iran yearn for freedom, democracy, and justice. The Iranian people are deprived of the most basic necessities, such as water, bread, hygiene, and health care. Nevertheless, the Mullahs are working to build nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles and continue their criminal meddling in the Middle East. Our sisters across Iran are the primary victims of COVID-19 because of economic pressures and the pressures in the family. Of course, they have the greatest motivation to, to encourage uprisings against the regime. So this year, International Women's Day carries a commitment for Iranian women, namely that we can and we must secure the victory of freedom and equality amid disease, oppression, and poverty. Dear friends, the outcome of the significant gender gap in Iran is extreme poverty imposed on women. For example, presently nurses endure great hardships in attending to the sick, but most receive a salary of 20 million rials or $80 per month. Based on government figures, more than uh, 60,000 nurses were infected with COVID-19 last year. Families forced their young daughters into marriage because of poverty. In fact, the regime's reactionary laws sanction this ominous conduct. 
a justice ministry official uh, revealed that there are between 500,000 and 600,000 child brides every year. Dear friends, discrimination and barbaric oppression are essential uh, to the Mullah's outlook and policies. The arrest of women in the streets continues as it is a vital part of the campaign to control society and impose repression. The number of women executed during Rouhani's term has reached 114, making the regime the world record holder in executing women. Last month, during an en masse hanging in Kohardash prison, west of Tehran, uh, one of the victims, Zahra Ismaili, a mother of two, died from a heart attack after seeing 16 others hanged before she was. Nevertheless, the henchmen still hanged her dead body. Her lawyer told this story uh, afterward. The misogynist regime wants to uh, preserve its rule through repression. However, Iranian women play critical roles in challenging the regime and pushing for the regime's overthrow. Women are the prime victims of the regime. Therefore, they have greater motivation to end this regime. In five nationwide uprisings, Iranian women posed the greatest challenge to the regime. They have demonstrated their capacity in setting up resistance units and they play a pivotal role in the organized resistance movement. Iranian women have shouldered the responsibility to end the catastrophe caused by the ruling theocracy and are prepared to make it happen. Dear friends, we seek to establish a pluralist republic based on uh, human rights, uh, a republic based on the separation of church and state. Uh, we want to realize a genuine democracy in which women's active and equal participation in political leadership is necessary. In tomorrow's Iran, all women's individual rights will be recognized, including the freedom of belief, religion, employment, and travel. Women are free to dress. In tomorrow's Iran, men and women will achieve total parity. Any form of compulsion against women in the family will be banned. Women's equal rights to divorce will be recognized. Physical, sexual, and psychological violence against women in the workplace, educational centers, household, or anywhere else will be uh, regarded a crime. Any sexual exploitation of women under any pretext will be prohibited. The Mullah's Sharia laws will have no place in tomorrow's Iran. All international agreements on the rights and freedom of women, including the Convention to eliminate all forms of discrimination against women, will be at the front and center of civil laws. The trampling of women's rights is the most flagrant aspect of the elimination of the human rights of the Iranian people by the ruling mullahs. Therefore, all those concerned about the threats posed by the regime uh, to the international community 
must support Iranian women's resistance. Dear friends, efforts to contain and control the regime's nuclear program will not succeed unless they are coupled with firmness against violations of the human rights of the people of Iran. Call on your government to make economic and political ties with the criminal uh, Mullah regime conditional open respect for human rights in Iran, especially women's rights and prisoners' rights. There is a long line of women who are resisting in prisons across Iran. And although there is not much talk of them, but they are among the most resistance fighters for human rights. In the name of the equality movement, I urge all advocates of gender equality across the world to support the arising women of Iran and the Iranian people's uprising for freedom. Thank you all very much.